Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we'll talk about distances and the reason is because in the following video we'll talk about nearest neighbors and there'll be some uh, usage of inputs of distances uh, in the method so it's good to get more familiar with what these distances are. So the video will be divided I think I'll make two uh, maybe two or three videos to cover all these distances. So we have some real valued integer, boolean, and also user defined distances. So why do we need to measure distances? Because we are trying to find sometimes the dis uh, similarity between uh, two sets of data, and the most familiar similarity or dissimilarity the most familiar distance that we know about is the euclidean distance so we have these two data points we can calculate the euclidean distance between these two and we'll see how in a minute and we can also use uh, these methods to find distances between two images to find out how similar they are or how dissimilar they are moreover we can find distances between two locations on earth or sort of two points on a sphere because uh, uh, the surface of the sphere would be curved and therefore we cannot measure a straight line distance and so there's a way to measure that we can measure distance between two sets of matrices or uh, again two tables or two data sets uh, so uh, we can find the similarity between those two data sets another uh, example would be we can find distances between two words or different phrases and we can find distant differences or uh, distances between two documents to uh, find out if those two documents are similar or they are different and if we have an image and if we later on in future videos when we'll uh, look at uh, neural networks we'll see that we can find uh, the differences between the similarity between two binding boxes to see if they are representing the same part of the image so with that now let's look at what euclidean distance is most of you would already be familiar with this uh, let's say we have the points x and y here at coordinates 4 and 4 2 for x and 1 4 for y and uh, we have the x-axis represent feature 1 y-axis represent feature 2 then we can calculate the euclidean distance by this formula which is basically the difference between the x and y coordinates uh, squaring them and summing them up and then taking the square root as shown here and so we have the euclidean distance here as d is equal to 3.6056 and we can i've also put uh, the python code here in the box below so if you type this in uh, it should get the same value that is listed here for these two data points and on the right hand side box uh, this is the output of the python code that is shown here which is a pairwise matrix so the first row represents the distance of a point four two point x by two itself so that is zero and then distance to point one four so that's three point six zero six and then again this is uh, row two is point one four so the distance of point one four to uh, point four two so distance x y to x is here and then y to y is zero that's why that is zero so we'll follow the same layout of uh, of boxes in coming slides and here in the blue bar blue bar this is the uh, uh, e re equation that's listed in the scikit-learn docs uh, so that's for reference there now let's move on to the next distance which is Manhattan distance. So for Manhattan distance, uh, if we have these same two data points, what we are trying to do is uh, uh, move in this direction. So we are, uh, until we get below this point, so we are three points in this direction and then two points up. So total is five, and that's the Manhattan distance. So basically to calculate the relation would be this. We are taking the difference between the x and y coordinates and uh, absolute difference and then summing them up as shown here so we have the distance is 5 
and this is the python code if you run this uh, um, we want to make sure that we enter manhattan in here in within quotes and this is the output so the distance is five next is shabby shave distance and for this distance we are taking the maximum value of the absolute uh, differences so you take the difference between the x and y coordinates uh, take the absolute values and take the maximum value so here the maximum value is 3 because 3 is greater than 2 and therefore the distance is 2 so that's again represented here in the output of the code now let's look at the minkowski difference and this is similar this has an additional parameter p uh, as you can see here and with that with a value of p set to either one or two we can get either manhattan distance for one or the euclidean distance for two and uh, the formula is the same as we can see here so we substitute value of p as two then we are uh, essentially calculating the manhattan distance sorry euclidean distance and therefore we have the value of 3.605 and if we were to calculate manhattan distance in code we specify the value of p is equal to 1 that i've done here and then the output will be this uh, pairwise matrix 0550 so 5 is the distance next this is the weighted minkowski distance so uh, the w represents the weight and we can input so in the previous slide we saw that we could input the parameter p is equal to uh, we input one so here we inputting the value of p is equal to two and we also have weight so we can assign weight to uh, each of these and therefore we let's say we have weight of three and seven we are multiplying uh, the x coordinates by 3 and y coordinates by 7 and so uh, this is the output we get which is 16.6433 and that's also shown here in the matrix now for the euclidean distance with that we saw earlier this is another variation of that where we are uh, dividing by the variance so uh, the formula is the same except that now after taking the differences between the coordinates we are also dividing it by variance and so here we are dividing this 4 minus 1 square divided by the variance 2.25 and uh, thus we get the output uh, distance is 2.8284 and in the while writing the code we can specify uh, s euclidean and then comma capital v is equal to and we can specify under two variances or here 2.25 and 1 and here we see this is the output value for the s euclidean distance now for mahalanobius distance uh, in we have looked at this in one of the previous videos here this is an intuition let's say we have a set of data points as shown here some blue and uh, magenta one orange and then one represented by the x here which is a red uh, now if we uh, look at the distance of point a b to c uh, which c is the centroid then we see that those would are equal equidistance if we calculate the euclidean distance however uh, we see that the variability of the data so if we uh, look at along the dotted black line we can see that the data has more vari variability along this line as compared to this line so is there a way we can include the variability in the data set to find out how far these data points are from the centroid of that cloud of points and so there is and that's what is the mahalanobis distance and if we try to plot an ellipse around this uh, of what we can see that the ellipse would be a representative of the variability in the cluster of data points we can see that the point b is much closer to the ellipse as compared to the point a and so if we uh, so what 
for Mahalanobius distance, what we essentially do is transform this data set into a uh, a, a form such as shown here which has uh, so we are essentially removing the effect of variance and we are uh, therefore getting this spearing effect or whitening effect on the data set uh, and therefore if we now calculate the distance of these points a and b to the centroid we would see that the point b is closer to the centroid as compared to point a and so now if we look at uh, this slide there's a lot of information here so i'll go step by step on the leftmost side we have this plot where we have a couple of data points uh, in blue uh, there's a centroid in red and then we have these two points uh, magenta and orange and the reason why we have those two colors is because uh, we are going to look at the Mahalanobis distance of each of these points from the point C. And in below down here, we have the code, Python code, which you could run as well. And on the right hand side, uh, just uh, to see that conclusion that point B is closer to point C than point A. And up here, we have the uh, relation for calculating the Mahalanobis distance and we can see that there is a term for covariance included in it and so when we calculate the Mahalanobis distance so all these points can be represented by this matrix here x which has two columns uh, 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 two columns so the first column could represent feature one the second column could represent feature two and we also have the centroid data point right here uh, added as the last data point now when we calculate the Mahalanobis distance we get this matrix uh, uh, as an output that's shown here and i know the digits are very small so may, it may be hard to read but i just want to point out that if you look at the last uh, three rows and last three columns of this matrix the row for uh, row for the data point a is shown here and if we scroll all the way to the right we can see that its distance Mahalanobis distance from point C is 2.97 whereas for point B that distance is 1.8 so uh, so that's one example to show that um, the Mahalanobis distance takes into account the variability and its direction uh, uh, to compute the distance and this could be very helpful when we talk about the K, uh, clustering in future videos or if it, when we talk about the uh, k nearest neighbor algorithm that was it for this video i hope in this video you got an intuition about what is the need for distances calculating distances and we looked at a couple of distances such as euclidean distance uh, manhattan distance and all the way up to Mahalanobis distance. In next video, we'll continue this discussion on distances. Until then, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.